We acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory, and we recognize all the many First Nations, Métis, Inuit, and non-First Nations whose footsteps have marked these lands. faculty guests, and fellow graduates. I am very honored to be standing here while sitting in front of you to celebrate this amazing accomplishment. When Ms. Yaramchuk first informed me and asked if I wanted to accept this achievement, I was very hesitant and honestly terrified that I would have to speak in front of such a large crowd. So I guess one outcome of COVID-19 that I can be thankful for is that I do not actually have to do this in person while you all have your eyes set upon me. With that, I think we can all agree that we are gathered together with the excitement that the day is finally upon us, but with disappointment that our graduation is not what we envisioned it to be. When I showed up to school on March 13th, the thought never crossed my mind that it would be the last day I attended high school, or the last chance I would have to be top on my favorite teachers, or the last day my friends and I would be late to class because the Tim Hortons drive through was so long. In the last seven months, I have learned to take nothing for granted and to live each day to the fullest while following Alberta Health Service guidelines, that is. Throughout the beginning of our grade 12 year, I heard a lot of my fellow graduates, including myself, say that they were going to make this year the best and most memorable. But the problem with us saying that is we are all used to procrastination and no one was making the first move to ensure that happened. As soon as COVID hit and schools were shut down, one of the first things my friends and I talked about was how our graduation year was cut short but I think this teaches us a good lesson. Time with friends and loved ones is never guaranteed, so seize every opportunity and live in the moment. Worry less about making the year great and more about making today great. Although our class didn't get the chance to make all the memories we wanted, we are still able to be thankful for the ones we made from the beginning, such as hanging out in the gym for every second we possibly could before Ms. Stefanik or Mr. Petrie got tired of hearing us sing, possibly screaming, and kicked us out. Regardless of our year being cut short, I think we can all agree that these last seven months led our class to a very interesting story to tell when asked about our grad experience. Prior to this year, I have not met a graduate who can say they did it while fighting a world pandemic that left us in a toilet paper scare for a while. Going forward, I would like to thank everyone who has helped me get where I am today. Thank you to my teachers who always encouraged me to try my hardest, even when I thought the task couldn't be done. Thank you to my coaches who always pushed me to train and work harder in practice as it showed me there was more potential and better outcomes when you put in all your efforts. Thank you to my family who has never stopped believing in my abilities and have always provided me with their unended support. Specifically, I would like to give a big thank you to my sister for providing me with her old notes and possibly old exams that may or may not have been reused by teachers. And lastly, I would like to thank my friends for always reminding me that it's okay to take a break from school and have a good time on the weekend. Maybe a little bit too much fun. Since I cannot provide advice to my fellow graduates, as once we leave here today, we will each enter the world of the unknown with passions and desires for where we want to go, I can provide a few pieces of information for our future graduates to take in. First and foremost, 
Go and make those memories that you and your friends have always talked about. Second, yes, you're going to fail a few tests and become stressed, but it isn't the end of the world as you will ultimately learn from these mistakes and improve. Thirdly, take advantage of the keybooks, especially for Bio 30 as you will see a lot of repeated questions on exams. Lastly, ensure that you are taking time away from school or your job to spend time with loved ones and friends. School won't last forever, but the relationships and memories you create with those around you will. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for each one of you, but remember that no matter how perfect you think something is, as Mr. Adamson likes to say, there is always room to do better. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Hi everyone, it's my honor to share a few words about the graduating class of 2020. I'd like to start by congratulating each of you, your parents or guardians, and the LCHS staff for what has been a demanding last few steps of a fulfilling journey. Or in other words, your last hurrah, your high school graduation. I was somewhat perplexed and intrigued by your theme choice. On the surface, the theme, our last hurrah, could be interpreted by many that you're about glamour and glitz, which basically may symbolize you live in a fantasy world. But then it came to me. One must look beneath the glamour and glitz of the actors and actresses of Hollywood, or in this case, the actors and actresses of Lacombe Comp, to see their true character. Was your fantasy created in the classroom, the halls of Lacombe Comp, on a court or field, while participating in a club or maybe an event or an activity. Fantasies really are creative dreams that can become reality, if and only if you're patient and willing to tackle one step at a time. Some of these steps can, however, become obstacles, which actors and actresses, dreamers and visionaries have to overcome. People who live in a fantasy world are people with admirable qualities. These people display passion, perseverance, endurance. They are resilient. You, I believe, are a resilient group. Every one of your schools echoes that you are a close-knit group who work well together and have always been willing to help each other out. Many of you have overcome personal and academic challenges, and all of you are enduring and overcoming the challenges the pandemic is bestowing on you. High school graduation is a special last hurrah. It's the culmination of hard work and acknowledges the successes you achieved to this point. This last hurrah or journey is defined by distance, the years it has taken, but there's also meaning behind every step that led you here. You have been transformed physically, emotionally, mentally, and I hope intellectually on this last hurrah. This journey began when you entered kindergarten or grade one. It's at this time the people in your school communities began to have an influence on who you are today. You definitely develop friendships you maintain to this day and hopefully will into the future. This educational journey certainly has provided you with many lessons on how to feel successful. Success has many faces. Did you do your best? Did you pick yourself up and try again when you failed the first time? If you answered yes to either or both questions, note this is a lesson in how you feel and will be successful. This is called perseverance and endurance, which are the key to tackling any journey and every step to the next last hurrah, so remember this. Although each of you is unique, there's a sense of oneness in a graduating class. Like individual personalities, you also have a group personality. I asked your previous schools to share a few words. Listen, and you'll definitely notice there's similarities between their thoughts and how Lacombe Comp describes you as a group. Ecole Lacombe Upper Elementary says that in grade six, this graduating class demonstrated leadership by working together to meet the needs of others. They raised nearly $30,000 for various charities. They endured a rice day challenge in an effort to walk in the shoes of many around the world who live on rice. 
That same year, this group selected video games as the intramural theme for the school, and in many ways it represented them as a group of students who were really understanding, learning, and interacting with the digital and global world they live in. They love playing Wii Sports, Super Mario, and Pokemon. Many in this class participated in making it into the Guinness World of Records when they helped to create the world's largest Christmas tree in Lacombe. This was a group of outgoing, confident, and caring students who we knew then will make a positive mark on the world. They were accepting of others and were always willing to provide a helping hand to those in need. Congratulations, class of 2020. Lacombe Upper wishes you the best. Clive provided me with an individual profile of each graduating student who attended their school. If you were a Clive student prior to coming to Lacombe Comp, contact me if you want to know what Mr. Jardine had to say about you specifically. Here's a summary of his remarks. As a group, these students were athletic. The girls' teams particularly won a number of banners for the school, so thank you. They're talented, intelligent, empathetic, and just a fun-loving and great bunch of individuals. Lacombe Jr. remembers this class very well. They were one of the most athletic groups of students to come through our school, and their leadership inspired the younger players on their teams and clubs to work harder and assist those around them. Mr. Matthews remembers his trip to Quebec with you as everyone had a lot of fun. He was especially proud of how you included and accepted other students. You made everyone feel welcome and that culture has continued. Lacombe Jr. wishes you the best of luck in your future endeavors and hopes your kind, caring and hardworking approach to life will help you achieve all the goals you set for yourselves. Iron Ridge Junior Campus remembers this group as being a lot of fun. You were a small group, so your teachers have the opportunity to become very connected to you. You are fondly remembered as very positive role models, as well as having a keen sense of justice. Overall, you are remembered for being kind and optimistic and wanting to make a difference in your community. For example, you raised money to put in the garden boxes. Some students in this class also ventured to Ottawa and the staff remember this as a very fun and memorable experience that is cherished to this day. And then you arrived at Lacombe Composite High School for the last trap of your educational journey. You made your presence known quite early to the administration of LCHS. Mrs. Galloway, the assistant principal who has followed you from grade 10 through 12, had the following to say. I really enjoyed this group and my daily rounds to chase several of them off to classes gave me tons of steps on my Fitbit. They also helped me hone my debating skills. This crew has energy, creativity, and positive social skills and it was an honor to be their assistant principal. I would certainly agree with Mrs. Galloway. Some of your shenanigans kept the office hopping. Thanks for the new experiences, class of 2020. Mr. Fenrick says to date you are by far his favorite graduating class of the 2020s. Think about what he said. Those of you aware of his humor will have caught this quickly. They're definitely a group with diverse personalities driven by their passions, whether in school or outside of it. This group has extremely talented and dedicated athletes, artists, apprentices, writers, change makers, and semi-professional excuse makers who were always entertaining and ultimately enjoyable. As a group, they faced an unusual and unprecedented circumstance, but rose to the challenge, and we hope they will continue to do so in the face of all challenges and adversity they'll face throughout their lifetime. Like myself, Mr. Fenrick knows you are a resilient group. Other staff also alluded to your athletic abilities and your great sense of humor. Mrs. Zenchuk and Mrs. Brotia recall laughing a lot with this group and not at you graduates. Mrs. Hunter also remembers you fondly. As she says, I found this class was full of extremes. 
extremely motivated to succeed or to get attention. She very much enjoyed having you as a class of gifted and dedicated students for three years and sums it up for all of us when she says, I am sorry the pandemic cut our time with them short. Mrs. Adamson and Mr. Petrie referred to you as awesome human beings, as it was obvious to them and to others that you really care about each other and the world around you. Mrs. Adamson will not forget the attempts you made to save a poor little bee that flew into your Bio 20 classroom. If the rest of you are wondering, the rescue mission was not a success. It is the thought that counts though. As a group, you are known to be empathetic and compassionate, which are great qualities. It has also been apparent from the start you're an extremely social group who like to tell stories and entertain. Mr. Petrie recalls many flex blocks and lunches he was entertained with wild stories of weekend shenanigans, hockey games, ball tournaments, and such. He thinks many of you could pursue an occupation in stand-up comedy. You are also a creative group. Mrs. Adamson is using many of your Bio 20 projects as exemplars, as I'm sure so are others. Mr. Petrie says it best when he says you are some of the kindest people he knows. You are all seem to get along reasonably well and look out for one another. They really don't have many clicks. They are more or less one large mob. It's obvious graduates you have created classy and warm memories which will be embraced in the years ahead of by you, your families and many educators over the years. On behalf of the LCHS staff, I would like to say thanks for the laughs and the positive contributions you've made to LCHS, your communities and to an extent the global community. Please know we will miss you, that we wish each and every one of you the best on your next journey. We have truly enjoyed being part of your last hurrah. Take care, have fun, be safe always, 2020 graduating class. Good afternoon, Lacombe Composite. Uh, thank you for including me in this year's graduation celebration. My name is Ron Orr, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as your MLA for the beautiful constituency of Lacombe, Panoka. Since being first elected back in May of 2015, uh, I've been fortunate enough to speak at some of your classes and graduations. Uh, it's exciting to see students who are eager and determined to take on the challenges that lay ahead. This is one of the better parts about being an MLA. Along with many others in this room today, I share your joy and excitement. I'm excited to witness these young individuals graduate and see their years of determination and hard work rewarded. Every student in this room uh, has earned your certificate and recognition of a job well done. You should all be very proud of yourselves. And this year of all years is a grad to remember. Your tenacity, adaptability, and perseverance in the midst of COVID will be unforgettable. Many of you will make difficult decisions in the next little while. Some of you may choose to continue your studies uh, in post-secondary schooling, some may enter the workforce, some of you may go to a trade. Uh, whatever you choose to do, I'm confident that you will put your knowledge and your passion to good work. In any career you choose, remember that there's always an opportunity uh, to serve your community and to make life better for fellow Albertans. Teachers, parents, grandparents, and other family members, thank you for all that you've done to make for, for these your students. All of you have endless potential. Continue to work hard, pursue your passions, and keep your head up. Challenging times are always full of opportunities if you have the vision to see them. Thank you for inviting me to, your, to, be, a, to be part of your special day, and congratulations, 2020 graduates of Lacombe. Our last hurrah. Who would have guessed that 2020 would be a year of no's? No school for almost four months. No sporting events. No graduation ceremonies. No roaring 20 decorations with black and silver and art decor. No grab parade and dance and many more no's. But to this new generation of resilient graduates, 
with lots of purpose, vision, passion, and energy, and hope. We take our hats off to you and how you will make the best out of the rest of your lives. We are Brent Buchanan and Kelly Lowry. We serve as trustees in which we are honored to both serve Black Halls and Lacombe. We bring you greetings on behalf of Wolf Creek Public School Board of Trustees. Nelson Mandela is quoted to have said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Use your power to positively change the world. Be a lifetime learner, dream big, discover what your passion and purpose is, and set your path to achieving it. Take pride in everything you do. Pride is an acronym which stands for persistence. With ordinary talent and extraordinary perseverance, all this area is attainable. A good example is my quarterback when I was in high school. He was Todd McFarlane, who is considered one of the best comic book artists in the world today. He always had big dreams. He was going to play pro baseball or he was going to be a comic book writer. Todd seriously broke his leg at a baseball game, which took him out of that dream. So he put his efforts in being a comic book ar artist. He has at home 400 rejection letters, which he keeps to remind him of his journey. It wasn't always easy. Finally, Marvel Comics signed him up and he drew Spider-Man for many years. Eventually, he left Marvel and started his own publishing company with a comic called Spawn. He was persistent and never gave up. Risk. Take the risk along the way. Do one thing every day that scares you. Initiative. Always take the initiative and don't wait for others. You are the captain of your dream. Make it happen. Desire. Your desires for success should be greater than your fear of failure. Enthusiasm. Enjoy your journey. It is all right to be excited about your dreams. Thank you to the students and parents and teachers and community members and all the people who have kept the faith to keep moving and keep climbing. Never before has a graduating class been asked to have this COVID-19 for their last hurrah. Step into the future with pur purpose, vision, passion, energy, and hope. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your climb and, and continue, continue to be a positive change for our world. Hi LCHS grads, a huge congratulations on completing your grade 12 year during a unique and challenging time. This is certainly proof you have the perseverance to be successful in whatever your future endeavors are. I'm hoping to see all of you at your formal fall celebration, but if it's not possible for you to make it, please note I wish you all the best. Continue to stay strong, stay safe, and enjoy life's next path. You rock 2020, grad class. Congratulations, grads! Hi, I'm going to try to say congratulations in all the languages of LCHS grads. Felicitations, salamat. Bagbati, felicitari. Congratulations, Lacombe Comp, class of 2020. Hey, all the best to you as you head out on your journey of life. May you be able to experience plenty of calm waters, but please also take the opportunity to enjoy some of the rapids out there. Remember the family and friends that have supported you along your trip to get to this point of graduation, as they will surely continue to support you as you head out on your, on your journey of life. Congratulations, all the best, take care. Hey grad class of 2020, just wanna say congratulations. Best of luck and never stop learning. Uh, we hope as you move forward, you always are brave, choose kindness, and continue to be a remarkable Ram. Hi grads, congratulations grads of 2020. You have been amazing. I wanna thank you for your senses of humor, for your compassion, for your empathy, for who you were. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. 
Hey, Grade 12s, uh, congratulations on your graduation. It has been an absolute pleasure to get to know you over the last three years, and I look forward to hearing from you in the future. Yay, girls! Congratulations! We're so proud of you. Remember to just roll with it. Congratulations, grad class of 2020. You did it, and we are so proud of you. I just wanted to say congratulations to all of you graduates. You did it. Way to go. Wishing you the very best. Take care. Herzliche Glückwunsch. Voyaske Kikoten. Lalo Doma. Osterov Linia. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm very proud of you. I want to thank you for all the laughter and all the fun times, and I wish you lots of success in your future. Way to go, Grads! If we've learned something this year, it's play safe! Hey, Grads. Jasper and I just want to take this time to wish you congratulations and much success in the future as you move along. All the best, Grad Class 2020. You guys rock. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We miss you at the top of the stairs. Um, congratulations on making it through this challenging time. You are going to reach your goals for my reach students. For my nerd herd, I will miss the laughs you bring to me every day. Uh, good luck in the future and whatever the future holds, you will do well. Congratulations. Grad 2020, I'm so proud of you and so happy to see you move on. I hope all the best for all of you. Congrats again. Rams Grad Class of 2020, congratulations on this big step in your life. This is one of many, so take it in and enjoy the accomplishment. I look forward to seeing you all at the banquet in the fall. Congratulations, LCHS Grad Class 2020. Um, Henry's been in all your tests, so he came to say congratulations to you too. All right, good morning, Class of 2020. Congratulations, you have made it through this crazy, ridiculous time. I am so proud of you guys pushing through and persevering. Lots of disappointments and lots of things that were not expected, and you guys are still here and you're still doing, I'm very proud of you. Um, I miss you like crazy. Some of you gave me more gray hairs during this time than you ever did in school, which was really interesting. But I um, miss you guys. I know you're going to have so much fun in your future, and I can't wait to follow you guys and watch what happens, um, what life brings you. Que felicitirde. Felicidades. Paya gyoch. Yoshen. Gratulaluk. Congratulations. It has been an incredible year with challenges and opportunities. I'm so proud of your ability to overcome the challenges, COVID-19, personal hardships, difficult classes, and testing friendships. These challenges have made you stronger and wiser. It has been a privilege to watch your accomplishments, sports victories, the greenest school in Canada, academic success, and personal achievements. Here's some advice from the bees. Create a buzz, sip life's sweet moments, mind your own beeswax, work together, always find your way home, stick close to your honey, and be yourself. Last of all, be strong, eat spinach. Congratulations, grade 12s. You're a grade that's been really special to me all through your, your school career. Have a great summer and best wishes. Congratulations, class of 2020. What an accomplishment. We're so proud of you. This year gave you a curveball, but you were able to persevere and get through it. So it's just gonna set you up for success in the future. Take care, be safe. You did it, congratulations. Hey grads, I uh, just wanted to say a quick thank you uh, to all the athletes and uh, athletic volunteers over the years. Thanks for all the time you've put into our program, uh, making Rams Athletics great. Uh, to all the grade 12s that came out and cheered everyone on, uh, you're a ton of fun. 
I also wanted to wish you the best of luck in the future as you move on to post-secondary, onto your careers and uh, with life in general. Uh, just make sure that everything you do, uh, you do it to the best of your abilities and overall just be really good people. Hey, class of 2020. Well, here you are. What a surprise. You made it. Congratulations, guys. Uh, wishing you all the best in your future. And uh, yeah, remember, you can always come back to where you came from. And uh, we look forward to hearing great things from you as you move throughout your life and do wonderful things. Congrats on all your growth and achievements during your time at LCHS. Wherever you go, whatever you do, go with your whole heart. Remember, love is louder. Congrats, you're an amazing group of people. I so admire your determination and your resilience through all of this, and I know you're running out into the world, and you're gonna do great things. I want you guys to shoot for the moon, because even if you miss, I know you'll land in the stars. Hey, grads of 2020, congratulations. We made it through a pretty tough year. The only thing you to say now is, uh, Get your motor running. Congratulations, grads of 2020. Good luck. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2020, and good luck with your future. Graduates. What a year to graduate. You've been such a wonderful group to teach. And although this year hasn't exactly been what we expected it to be, I have a feeling that you're all going to come out of this and become a force in our world. I'm looking forward to the days when I get to celebrate your accomplishments and to see you again. Take care and congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, grade 12s, on your graduation. I just want to wish you guys all the best in your new adventure here after high school. Remember to live your life to the fullest. Uh, everyone has a story. Choose love and be kind. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys are awesome. You worked your tails off to, to get here. So enjoy, celebrate, and never forget. Go Rams. God bless and keep you always May your wishes all come true May you always do for others And let others do for you May you build a ladder to the stars And climb on every rung May you stay forever young Forever young Forever young May you stay forever young May your hands always be busy May your feet always be swift May you have a strong foundation When the wind of changes shift May your heart always be joyful May your song always be sung May you stay forever young Welcome to Grad 2020, the Rammies, known as the Comic Awards. These are the awards that you voted your classmates for. So the first one we have up is most likely to talk their way out of the ticket. And this year's winner goes to Ivy Wolf. Worst vehicle, sorry we didn't have a picture of it, but um, it was kind of a runaway and this year's award went to Caden Epp. most likely to show up on a snow day um, and taping this on a cold blustery day in October and this Rami goes to Tanner Bell. Best legs. Now 
because uh, there was a tie for this one. And this one goes to Lewis Rice and Jaden Etson. Most likely to accidentally join a cult. Um, and this year's award winner goes to Hannah Gill. Most likely to star in their own reality show is Emily Knight. Best laugh, Josh Harper. Most likely to live in their parents' basement at age 40. Now, I bet you their parents aren't super excited about this, but this goes to Tyler Keene. Best beard, and so disappointing that the picture didn't have a beard, but the award goes to Brady Carruth. Most likely to move furthest away is Kayla. Most Rams pride is Miles Pallister. Most likely to be late for grad. Well, is it all of us this year? Because we couldn't have grad in June and then we couldn't have it in November. Um, so are we all late for grad or are we all on time? But anyway, it would be Logan Ritchie. Student celebrity lookalike. Now this is the one that we've all been waiting for. And this one goes to Wyatt Petrie, who looks like David Dobrik. Thanks everyone. Hope everyone's having a great year and we'll see you soon.